Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at OpenSUSE 12.2 Milestone Run. Um, I'm currently on the login screen. The first thing you will notice is the computer name. I obviously haven't changed it. You have the option to enter in your username and password. You have the option to change um, what session you log in using. And you have the option to um, switch users to do a remote login, a console login, or to shut down the system. And it displays the time and the date at the bottom there, which is nice. So I'm going to log in now. And you will also notice the new um, desktop background, which is pretty nice. The second thing you will probably notice is the new icon for the application launcher. I personally prefer the old icon, though it might be possible to change it, I'm not sure. We have all of our desktop icons, nothing too exciting. We have the option to, you know, add panels and widgets, etc., like you would in any other KDE distribution. We have our activities here. I believe the usual three activities were here when I looked at it before. But when I clicked on them, they disappeared. So this must um, be some sort of bug in OpenSUSE 12.2 milestone run. We have our desktop run and desktop who, um, desktop run and desktop two should be able to change it to four desktops if we wish to do so. We have the Dolphin file manager, it's a very functional file manager, I'm a big fan of it. And also you will notice when you move um, the windows around, they are transparent, though this is nothing new obviously. Uh, we have Mozilla Firefox down here, let's open it up and see what version comes included. I haven't used Firefox in a while, I've been using Google Chrome and Chromium personally. Uh, so Firefox 10, as you would probably expect. And obviously all of your open windows display down here. We have the clipboard tool, Clipper. Volume control. What else do we have here? We have our notifications, the device notifier, and we have desktop um, file indexing. We have the time and the calendar. I quite like um, the KDE calendar because you know you obviously have the month um, view and you can hover over a day and it will have you know the public holidays listed on the right which is quite nice and we also have the option to add widgets etc from here uh, now let's open up the menu and look at all of the default applications that come with OpenSUSE 12.2 though you wouldn't expect um, this to change much really if at all board games we have Mahjong, Reversi or, and you'll probably notice that they they like to use um, generic names in OpenSUSE. So K-Mines, you know, it's Minesweeper, they call it K-Mines. They have Sudoku. They have uh, Patience. For graphics, they have GIMP, as you would expect. They have LibreOffice Draw, and they have Gwenview. Uh, for internet, the default chat um, client is Chocock, and they have conversation with a K. For web browsers, we have Firefox and Conqueror. I am also a big fan of Conqueror. It's both a file manager and a web browser all in one. It's um, a very functional piece of um, software. Okay, let's go back to the application. So we have Kmail as the um, included email client. We have KTorrent for BitTorrent, and we have Aggregator for, you know, the RSS sound feeds, etc. Under Multimedia, we have Amarok as the default um, media player. And it's asking uh, for the country, for the, um, it's asking for my country so I can buy MP3s from the Amazon MP3 store. Um, I am in Australia, so it won't work, though I could set it up to go through and block us if I really wanted to. I'm not going to worry about um, installing all of the MP3 codecs right now. Yes, I'm going to use that as my um, music path. You know, Amarok's a pretty functional player. I don't like how it looks out of the box, though. Once you start moving things around and getting it to look, you know, how you want it to look, it is a lot better. A few things seem to be going wrong there. It's probably going to yeah, go and hide in the notification area. Okay, so that's pretty much multimedia. We have K3B, KSCD, uh, Caffeine. I quite like Caffeine as well. If you um, have, 
Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, if you have a digital TV tuner, then I highly recommend using caffeine if you, um, you know, use Linux. Um, just the volume control there and the office, you know, as you would expect, we have Libre Office. And I really like um, the productivity programs included with OpenSUSE, you know, like K Address Book, or it's all, all um, part of K um, Organizer, I believe. Oh, wait, no, maybe that's not the right program. Hang on a second. So we have K Address Book, K Organizer, that's part of LibreOffice, LibreOffice Space, LibreOffice Draw, our contact. This is the um, application I was thinking of. Contact is a very handy application because you can um, keep track of all of your emails, all of your contacts, your calendars, you can keep track of your to-do list, your RSS feeds, your journal, and you can create pop-up notes. So it's a very um, good productivity program. Uh, what else do we have here? More um, LibreOffice programs like LibreOffice Calc and Impress. And we have LibreOffice Writer, we have the Ocular Document Viewer. Uh, we have all of the um, system applications, nothing too exciting there. And we obviously have Yast, um, which comes with OpenSUSE. It's going to ask um, for my password so I can access all of these settings. I quite like Yast, and you can also access Yast um, from the command line, which is um, pretty neat. We have all of the different utilities, you know, nothing too exciting really. We have the accessibility um, utilities, the archiving utilities, a few different desktop utilities, you know, functional ones, K Color Chooser, K Snapshot, you know, they can all come in handy. We have K Write, you know, which is pretty much Notepad. Uh, yeah, nothing else too exciting really in terms of all of the um, applications. They don't really change much between each major release. So we have our favorites here. You know, you have all of your pinned applications. You can do a search for an application or a file from here. Uh, your full name and username and computer name displays up here. Under computer, we have a few different administration options. We have a link to Yast. We have the option to install and remove software, system information, you can run a command. Uh, what else do we have here? And we have a few different places or a few different links. We have a link to the home folder, the network folder, the root folder and the trash folder. And all of our recently used applications and documents display here and we have a few options, you know to do with the session and the system, you know, like logging out and switching users or shutting down and restarting the system. Um, I think that is pretty much it for this video. I'm not sure what this is. So, um, what's going on here? I don't know what the system is doing. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I highly recommend checking out OpenSUSE. Um, it is definitely my favourite KDE distribution. Uh, this is only a milestone one release of OpenSUSE 12.2, so it is a little bit buggy in case you haven't noticed. Uh, so that is it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me, and thanks for watching.